Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and today I have a very interesting story for you guys. This actually is a throwback video in a sense. Uh, when I first started the Wildwood Video Archive, the first video, the first history video I ever did was about the Wildwood Junction. And there is a really great history behind it. I can link that video, put it either up here in the corner over there or in the description below. But the crazy thing is, it's gone. Middle Township just ripped it down. Now before I tell you more about it, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, and give this video a thumbs up. So if you didn't watch the history of the Wawa Junction, long story short of it was, back in the 40s when you used to come down here by train, even through the 60s, there was two ways into Wildwood. One through the Wildwood Junction, another one through Anglesey Junction. Anglesey Junction's all the way that way towards Home Depot. This one is in between, I guess when you're like heading down towards Walmart, it would have sat right there and went right through West Wildwood onto what I think Oak Avenue would have been. And um, in order for you to go ahead and actually go into Wildwood, there used to be a switch somewhere where uh, if you kept going straight, there were a couple of them junctions where they would switch the track so that you can go that certain direction. So if you were coming from, let's say, Philadelphia, and you want to stop by Avalon, you would stop at one of these houses where the railmen would switch the rails so that you can change direction, which pretty much is what's still here. I mean, you could still see the original rails, and obviously the switch would have been over here. You can see it gets smaller and moves out this way. You can take these rails pretty much all the way down to Cape May. Unfortunately, they've been abandoned for years. And in the 70s, after they stopped commercial, routes all the way down here they had a company rip up all the tracks into wildwood but they left the junction and as you could tell most of the tracks are still left here at the junction and one of the things that was left with it was the junction building and it sat here abandoned for years that's why we did our original article about it And in 2019, the mayor of Middle Township said we needed to get rid of it because people were vandalizing it. It caught fire once, and then from there, there was a lot of illegal things going on. And so um, there's been back and forth about who actually owns the tracks. It's owned by another company, and it was leased out to Cape May Shorelines. And unfortunately, it just, over time, it just never worked out for anyone. And so, when they finally got through the red tape, they were able to knock it down. They knocked it down just recently, and there really isn't much left. I'm going to flip the camera around and share with you what's really left. I mean, right now we're standing where they used to bring in the cargo, uh, but let's flip the camera around. Here you could see the original sidewalk that surrounded the building. It used to go this way and cut all the way down. The building used to end right over here. Now they did keep the freight rails which you see one right here and one on the other side kind of sticks out a little bit going that way it's hard to see actually let me back up where you can definitely see them right here one here one there and that's so that um, when there was something that needed to be delivered at least dropped off there'd be a car they could wheel from inside drop it here and then there was a crane as you can see where the rail ended there was a crane here that would then pick it off and put it and bring it inside now i want to go ahead and give you guys like a uh a comparison video maybe one of those like before and after kind of things because i do have that footage from five years ago so uh let's see how that would look Now, I am extremely sad that they ripped this down, but I completely understand at the same time, I mean, the poor building was falling apart. No one was taking care of it. People were vandalizing it. Things were getting ripped off of it. I know that there were some kind of plans to make it into some kind of like history museum, but the issue is because there's no train here, it really didn't make sense to kind of keep it up. 
maybe down the line there might be a train i do know that they do those excursions from cape may on those small little trains you could take it from the cape may train station all the way up to the bridge and back but um if they only had that train going back and forth it would have been feasible but unfortunately just didn't work out Anyway, I'm Joey. Thank you so much for joining me. Maybe down the line we'll do another video of the history of the rails here in Wildwood as we're still finding out new information every single time uh, we go through the Historical Society because people keep on bringing us film or people keep dropping off some really cool photos and we learn something new. Like, for example, I didn't know that these pieces were still here. Last time I explored them, I don't think I saw that. Maybe I did, but... um. It's still pretty cool to check out, but if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you on the beach.